content over everything. Anti-polio vaccination when you were younger. Anti-polio vaccination. Okay. Yeah. Did you have it? No, I didn't have it. You didn't have it? Oh, no. you're lucky. Okay. Yeah. Well, a lot of people did have it. So they're walking around with her genes in them and they don't even know who she is. Yeah. So she was on the planet in 1951. She had cervical cancer. This is back in the States, in, in Baltimore, at uh, John Hopkins Hospital. And they scraped her stem cells from her cervix area. And without her permission, the family didn't find out until 25 years after she passed away. So since then, her cells have been used in major breakthroughs vaccinations now on this planet. Basically, every single hospital on planet Earth has her cells. So that's a great start into getting into scientific literacy and things of that nature. How much, is, how much do you That's 10. So in science, her cells will be called HeLa cells, an abbreviation of the name, H E N N LAX. And they're like 10 as well. So those two, hand in hand. Those two, hand in hand. That, hand in hand. Yeah. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw, draw some cash out and get this one. Which one? Hand me a Lex? Oh, the talent man? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I got you. Two minutes, I'll be back. Yeah, no problem. All right, man. I respect bro. Content over everything. God <laughs> damn, Leon finally comes to Seven Sisters. What up with that? Mad we're beginning to take it personal around here, yo. Yeah. Like, we don't get lucky. Everyone's at the park. <laughs> you, you got Maku and everybody, but you don't come uptown, man. Like, what, what is that? What's that about, yo? Easy, you know the man. Well, yeah, Maku and the everybody, like, man. Mad everybody, man. Everybody. Yeah, Maku is, is a brother. Yeah. Well, he, he supports the opposite team for me. He's a Man United fan. But Maku, <laughs> I'll let you off, all right? Because, you know, City run the world. Don't know. I let the people, for people who don't know, though, let the people them know who you are, man, and what you do. Okay, uh, my name is Brooklyn, Brooklyn Keck Nuba. And I got, like, the home tree stem. The home tree stem has been in existence for like 26 years, but in its earlier conception, I was known as um, Ghettonomics. I was known as the seventh world Ghettonomics. And back then, I was doing like the I was always doing the knowledge and whatever, but I was doing like movies, the, the clothes and apparel and things like that. So, what I was doing is going back forth to NY. I had a store in the Endor Mall just on the block, and I was selling the clothes and bringing people to New York and showing them how the whole wholesale game goes. That's when the pound was really nice and up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's back in the day, it used to be like about 10 of us brothers out here. I first came out here, the first time I ever done books out here was back in 1993, believe it or not. Now I'm showing my age, but age is an acronym, we can get into that later on. And age is <laughs> disease on this planet, I'm 52 years young. You get that, right? 52 years young. So the first time I ever came out here with the knowledge was 19, 1990, um, 1993 with the books. Right knowledge, Dr. Malachi, New York, New Apple and all that good stuff, you follow? So I've just come like full, full circle. And back then I was trying to get, because um, I was heavily into black, you know, Black Wall Street already, right? Yeah. Heavily into that. So I was trying to get people to like pull our resources together because like the so-called Jews do it, the Asians do it, the Arabs do it, but we don't do it. So back then I was telling people, yo, let's all get inside the mall. There's a mall down there, which is referred to now as the uh, La Latino Mall, the Colombian Mall, yeah. right? The big indoor market. But a lot of us brothers and sisters used to be in there, you know what I'm saying? From all different, you know, islands and, you know, from the diaspora, we used to be in there together. And we all had our different shops. Then Latinos come just kind of bought it out. But I'm trying to go full circle again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, next question, just hit it. As we say, so what? Um, you're talking about the Nuwapian thing earlier. What, is, yeah. is that your? I came up under. Thought? I came up. I came up under a lot of schools of thought. You follow what I'm saying? So I know Maku from that school of thought. He's known as Nuwapian. You know. Yeah, sniper. Um, sniper. Yeah. So yeah, I came up under that. Dr. Malachi York is innocent, by the way. So I came up under that school of thought. So, but I deal with everybody's school of thought, whether it's five percent as gods and earths, you know, nation, whatever it is, more science. I, right now, I deal with everybody's because we're too late in the day to be individual and be like compartmentalizing situations and oh, using the opium. He's a more, he's a five percent. He's a Hebrew. It's like. Look, when a man comes for you, he's coming for you regardless of what so-called organization you're about. You follow what I'm saying? And the one thing that all these people are catching is diseases. So disease don't care if you're a nation. Disease don't care if you're a Sabian Nuwapian. Disease don't care if you're gods on earth. Disease don't care if you're Rastafarian. Disease don't care if you're Hebrew Israelite. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of sick of getting that phone call every other week. Because sometimes I was getting it every other week. People dropping, leaving the planet. For what? for some dietary issue, for diabetes, sister getting five blood complications. So I got my way to intuitively know what causes it, come out here and educate the people on it because they damn ain't getting it in the skills. You all know that's, that. That's what you're doing, um, giving Every day, advice. man, every day. Health, health and nutrition and the sciences because they go hand in hand. I'm dealing with the two most important things missing from the urban community. What's up, Mel? The two most important things missing from the urban, urban community. I can talk about black power all day. I've done all that. You follow what I'm saying? But black power ain't nada without empowerment. And even then, I don't even need to associate the color with, with the empowerment. 
You follow what I'm saying? Because as you just, you just saw Europeans going to the ATM, it's going to come back and hit me up. You follow what I'm saying? So I don't care what color, creed, sexual orientation. None of that shit matters on my table. When you come here, you get the knowledge to, to help yourself, help your family. Because you've got to try and save lives. So, you know, I ain't got no time for the BS. Okay. You dig me? What's up, sis? You good? Sis, you need to come and get this new, you know. Yeah, this sister here, she always supports the table. You know what I'm saying? Mark Dugan's cousin, by the way, so you know, it's like that right here, you dick? Yeah, yo. So. <laughs> you look good, man, you mean? Ever ready, ever ready. Yeah, so like, uh, if I go back a bit, like back in the day in the 90s when I had a store in, in the mall, one of my yeah. first stores, uh, me and the next brother called Mikey, we had stores back to back. So Solomon in his younger Snoop Dogg looking days, <laughs> he, he used to come in, he used to come in like chill with us and all that. And he'd been supporting us since day dot, you dig me? So like, he's just like, what I like about him is that he used to watch us and like, just see how it goes, but not copy what we do. He, he flavored it himself. He modeled it himself. Like he would ask basic questions like, where'd you get your tables from? Back then we had fads. You remember fads from way back? The, you know, the, um, the decorating tables would come out and propagate. So he clocked everything. And, and he wasn't really associated with the gangs and all that. So he was an individual, he was able to work out things himself. And he heard us back then, talking about the knowledge back then. Even though we was doing the move, but we always had the book. So, you know, he was the next generation. All we doing, all I'm doing is, is handing the baton down to, to, you know, black child promotion. You know what I'm saying? But we've all been one, but we've all got different duties to do. So right now he more focused on the black history. I focus on the health, nutrition and the sciences. We don't all want to be doing the same thing. We don't want it monotone, we want this in stereo. You follow what I'm saying? So it comes all directions to help everybody. Uh, so uh, earlier you said that um, you service everybody at your, at your store. Yeah, um, yeah, damn right. A lot, a lot of the times I hear that man are focusing on just their own Nah, community. nah, I, that's what I like about your channel though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I see you at Tommy Robinson March and all that. And I know football people because I used to be a football person myself. So I'm, I'm down for like, for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't just say like, just black only, that's foolishness. Like, you gotta get out. I'm not part of the, um, I don't like to blame, blame games and all that, no. We gotta look at ourselves, ain't no justice, it's just us. Okay. You heard? So what would you say is your um, objective for humanity in general then? If you got to, raise, to raise the consciousness of humanity and not to be dumbed down by, by so-called governments and, cause the days of the gurus and these fake leaders, them days are over. You become your own leader. But to do that, you need knowledge yourself and knowledge yourself in kind. Once you get knowledge yourself in kind, then you can relate. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to, the nucleus of relate. Hence, they end up in bad relationships because they're not compatible. You follow what I'm saying? Like, we're the only community. Look, look at the, the terminologies and languages we use. Language like baby mother, baby father. What kind of language is that? You follow what I'm saying? If the people got together and, and learned how to form a relation, like, have the, the common foundation, we'd be in a, a, a better look all around. You want to tell me about, right? I got you. Don't run out of me, though. All right, I got you. Yeah, so um, once we get that, that knowledge itself, because as you heard me say earlier to the young man here, I said um, everyone's a product of their environment, a product of your immediate environment. Now, this sounds like a cliche when people say, oh, you are what you eat, but you literally are what you eat and consume. So if you're eating trashy food, you're going to have trashy thoughts. You follow what I'm saying? You're going to end up doing trashy things. Yeah. There's, a, there's a direct correlation. You follow? When the children come out of school and the first thing they do is eat pigeon and chips and, and drink sodas, there's a correlation. You say pigeon and chips? I call it pigeon and chips because you've never <laughs> seen a chicken delivery in the hood. You dig me? Thanks, yo. I'm here every day. Any questions, come and holler. All right? The next one to that, there's one called Telemarais, the Telemarais Revolu Revolution. All right? We can work on that. Yeah, how you doing, yo? I hope you don't mind that I still do this while you're filming, alright? No problem, man. Thing, man. No, 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 no. Oh, right. Come back, come back. Him, it's part of that, so. Yeah, right here, got like science, health, and nutrition. So pick up the back of any book. The book trading from 10 bucks up to 50. There's a lot of, you know, interesting topics right here. You see it every day, but you never stop. I hear you. Everybody's on the go, so it's only when you make time you find out what this is about. You be like, okay, boom, that's kind of interesting. I, I live just there. Yeah. I live in Italy, and I don't, I don't read into it, you know. Yeah. Well, any questions you got, just fire away. That's what I'm here for. You dig me? Give me some inspiration. Yeah. Well, that's the aim. My aim is for everybody to live their best life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, eat better, drink better, 
knowledge up every day. You follow what I'm saying? Ask yourself why you do certain like things. Like Crystals. Yeah, I like these. The Chunkies are 15, these ones here are 10. What's good about the black and the gray ones right now? You got black obsidian, black tourmaline, and the hematite. Now what these three are good at is, um, is repelling non-native EMFs. So like this country six weeks ago going fully into the 5G thing. You know that's a silent killer, right? The 5G for your phones and everything. Well, you know, so go ahead. What's the best one for me, What kind of feet, what, you want something like for the bad energies or focus or ambition? Just for inside. Just for like insight, mm -hmm. inside? Yeah. Balance, I'd say like, all right, like just these. feel. I like these. I like these Have a feel on that. Some what you, what, what you feeling. Now you see like how birds and animals all flock together, can bank left at the same time because they're tuned into the metro electromagnetic grid of the planet. They, have, they more or less have this in their skeletal, but what they have is like maghamite. This is hematite. Right. So, so it's electromagnetic from across the cross of the planet. So then you're dealing with things like Birkeland currents, Shulman currents, um, Taurus donuts. They're tuned in. Now we, the people, we've got to be read back tuned in with nature. Once we're tuned in with nature, we know when a storm's coming. We know, you feel what I'm saying? Because you're tuned in with nature. So what you got to do first is work on your own, your own body clock, which is called a circadian rhythm. And then you learn about the crystal and animal domains uh, circadian rhythm, which is under the science of phenology. See, now you're feeling the energy, right? Okay, well, so let's go again. Let's go again. Your lowest chakra, your lowest chakra is rose quartz. Yeah, your lowest chakra is rose quartz. That's your lowest chakra. That's dealing with like hate, envy. I'm this one. Yeah, go if you feel it, man. Go ahead, look. Right, that's a, this one right here, that's the same stone, but that's, that's what you call um, rough or raw chip. This is 10. So you call these raw. This is like raw chip, and then you have smooth. Some people wear them together. Like on this arm, I got Thai guy smooth with a raw to amplify it even more. You follow? That's the follow-up to the secret. A lot of people didn't know that. That's the last one, by the way. You feeling that? No doubt. That's ten, y'all. All right. You look like you're gonna deliver the budget at number ten down the street. You know when he's come out with the with the red briefcase, the level. <laughs> <laughs> it starts putting all the, the yeah, it starts putting all the prices up. The, <laughs> the inflation, the treasure. Politrix, Peter yeah, Tosh, politics. yeah. But the thing is, we should get involved with local so-called politics. When I mean local, I'm saying like how who the people making decisions for your immediate area. So you got a say in it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I try and encourage people to do right here. If you ain't if you ain't got um. Good looking out, man. Thank for your support. Day, day. Yeah, just pass through any time, man. It's all gravy. It's all gravy. You have a nice evening, all right? No doubt. Yeah, I was gonna say like, you see, like when if you haven't got like a a, a criminal record or whatever, I advise people to go and volunteer to be a magistrate. You don't need no big ass law degree, you know what I'm saying? Then you can sit in and make decisions what's happening in your area. That's how these other communities do it. They have their people, like the local butcher, he sits in on a Thursday and he's a magistrate, but he doesn't know the local demographic of areas like this. So he's just out, oh, just punish them, just punish them, just punish them, just punish them. We need so, our so people don't, don't, in these don't places. You feel like, have you heard an argument that um, when you drain the system to try and change it, the system ends up changing you? If you allow it to, but you've got to change it from the inside. You have to change it from the inside out. So you've got to be in there to do it. You follow what I'm saying? So what do you feel? What do you feel is the? Um, it's, it's like, like, look at this, right? Yeah, by James Davis. Yeah, cracked. Um, why psychiatry is doing more harm than good? So you start talking about psychiatrists and things like that, right? Yeah. Now they may come in and assess a young child from like Caribbean background, Afro-Caribbean, African background. Yeah. But because they don't know that child's demographic, they might come up with the wrong answers and solutions. You follow? And a lot of us went through that when we was younger with the social workers and things like that. They'll come and intervene in a local family, but don't know the family's demographic and make things ten times worse. If someone was learned it from the inside, now they would have that feeling. That's what I'm saying about judges and things like that. So I hear what you're saying about how you doing, y'all, about the system. But it takes people to get in there to change it. You follow what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it takes that because otherwise they're not gonna know. Yeah. So we say so you're against people sticking to their own communities in order to try fix no, themselves. No, I'm all for people. I'm don't get it twisted. I'm all for people sticking to their own communities, but not not at the point where you just ignore everyone else or 
we don't like what's the word? Not intermingle, but um, oh, communicate. Word. Yeah, and in, and integrate. Like if you're in someone's country, obviously you got to integrate. A in lot of sense, problems. A lo yeah, a lot of problems start when people feel, oh, this demographic, they come to this country and they don't integrate. And the next thing you got, you got hatred, you got paranoia because they, you don't learn about that that community. You follow what I'm saying? So and how, that happens how, with how us. How do you define integrating though? Because sometimes people say. They don't want you to talk in your um, native language. Yeah. Even even our man talk with a bit of um, accent. Man's the dash way that our man dress. How man how man like culture in it. It's like all of these things combine together and make a culture in it. The way you True. interact with each other. So how how, how do you define integrate? Uh, that's a good question. And there's so many different there's so many different ways you can go at it. Because if we use a country like this, people come here, and for you for people to say oh integrate like learn the language learn the local customs but it doesn't necessarily mean come to the UK learn to smoke cigarettes learn to eat pie and mash and then drink a, a pint of, of, of beer or alcohol in the pub you know what I'm saying it just means just be like be open don't be so defensive when people come to you not everyone's got the same agenda you know if the more content you are of yourself the more you can content with the next man you follow what I'm saying but that starts starts back with the knowledge of self you know the East one teach one if you've got supreme knowledge of self, then you can relate to knowledge of self and kind. Then you're not going to be so defensive, you follow? Whereas the other side of what you're saying is that other people allow themselves to be usurped by someone else's culture, you follow? So then you end up wearing funny costumes. Now your costume reflects your culture, you follow? If you go from here to Stamford Hill, where you have the so-called Jews, it's another topic, the Jebusite so called Jews, they've got a certain costume, it reflects their culture. You go to Ealing or Ilford, you got the Asians wear a certain costume reflecting their their um, their culture. Costume reflects their culture, you follow? Now with us people of color, we everyone on the planet wearing everybody else's costume. Which means we've we've got everybody else's cultures usurped our original cultures. They're throwing things like religion at us. We didn't have religion back in the day, we had African spirituality. You follow what I'm saying? Why we accept so many different customs instead of like just being who and what we are? Mm. You dig? I and that starts still. with what you eat, by the way, again, once again. I hear you still, but it's, it's, you know? it's difficult. Because people don't really explain when they say integrate. They don't really explain what it is you're actually asking man to do, you get me? It's like it's all based on assumption. Like, I, I can't say you. it's based on assumption, but in terms of the person that they're talking to, like, they ain't got nothing to go with. Like, as, far, as far as they're concerned, they might be integrated True. compared to what they used to. You True. get me? But I don't True. know. Yeah. But as I said, it's, you know, a lot of time it depends on the topic as well. So. You know, the more well-versed you are to communicate with different people and talk about different things, yeah. the more open-minded you are, the more you're going to learn. I learn more from my customers. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a reciprocal thing. It's a two-way thing, you know. I love it when a woman gets off the bus and says, yo, Brooklyn, that book you gave us, bang on. I learned so much about the dairy, and now I'm not falling for these dairy towels. You know, people say fairy towels, I say dairy towels. You follow what I'm saying? You know, the, 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 the milk and the cheese and all these things there, which are, which are poisoning us, mm -hmm. you follow? That's the only time the so-called, I don't even want to say race, but okay, the race comes into the picture, or genetics, genetics is better. That's the only time it really pops up, you follow? You say like, nutrition. Yeah, because obviously like somebody else, my European friend can drink milk all day, right? I drink milk, that's going right through me. Why is that? The lactose intolerance, you follow what I'm saying? It's based on genetics based on genetics, exactly. And that's what separates. But if we all eat in the same food and we're not questioning why it's messing us up, why, why are young sisters, I had a young sister out here, 16 year old, she's got endometriosis. You follow what I'm saying? I don't even know what that is, where is that? Endometriosis is when the, the womb-like tissue starts growing outside the vagina itself yeah. and attaches itself to like the fallopian tubes, which then later on is gonna inhibit, you know, um, childbearing things, you know, like uh, conception, things like that. You can have pregnancy issues, things like that, you okay. follow? And not just endometriosis, sisters have got things like PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, you follow? Um, when there's, you know, testosterone and things like that is overriding their estrogen, or they got too much estrogen through the synthetic estrogen you're getting for the foods, you mm -hmm. follow? Then you got a lot of sisters with fibroid complications. Fibroids, when I was growing up, um, the word, what they used back then was the black woman's curse. But yeah. I came out of a black woman's womb, so I'm taking offense for that. Why are you calling it the black woman's curse? Why is it predominantly sisters of color have you, the you fibroid complications? This is a term which was, was um, labeled by Europeans towards black women. Say, oh, fibroid is like a, a black person's thing. What every, mean, every, what you mean, every. What do you mean officially? Like it was an official term or. Not official, because they can't, because that's just out and out blatant, but. Yeah. You know, like a euphemism. 
people would have like nicknames for like like when I was growing up, diabetes was associated with black people only. But it, but when you start unveiling the facts, you find out more Europeans have diabetes one than people of color do. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So it can be down to the organ failure or di or dietitian. But either way, it's gonna be down to your dietary. All these things can be down to your dietary. All these prostate cancer, whatever it is. Diabetes, cancers, all that. My mom had diabetes, but nobody dies of diabetes complications. She died of the complications associated with it, which is the heart attack. The sirens every minute out here. The noise pollutions go crazy. Just when you start getting into it, what? As soon as I start speaking, it's gonna go again, right? Yeah, so my mom, she had diabetes complications. She didn't die of the diabetes, she died, died of the um, complications associated with it. The heart attack took her out six years ago, she left the planet. So then I had to go out my way, learn about the pericardium, blah, 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 you know, how not to stress it and things like that. You follow? Uh, two years ago, my elder sister back home in New York, she had, um, she was over here, she went back. Although she gravitated or made um, provisions to eat healthfully and get into like a plant, eating way of life or plant-based way of life, she negated the fact that you have to clean the colon. If I give you a local energy, like if, uh, analog, if you ride the subway train from here to Brixton, right, on the Victoria line, if that maintenance man don't hit that track tonight, in a tunnel you can have build-up, right? Well, that's the same thing with your colon. If you're eating every day and you're eating filth, you can have like sticky things lying in the, your colon. If you're eating cheese and mac and things like that, that's gonna stick there. You're gonna stop the proper synthesization of, of the vital minerals that you need. You follow what I'm saying? So we've got a whole education on that. And then if you're eating every single day, that's kind of nasty. So it's good to kind of fast and um, learn to eat according to your haplotype, learn to about your circadian movement, which I mentioned earlier on. Like they've got people eating all 10 midnight. Them times is crazy. You can't really um, synthesize the foods or metabolize the food at 10 o'clock at night. It may seem romantic, but we're not Roman. You know, romance is an antique and Roman. I damn don't look like no Roman, so I ain't eating after nine o'clock. When the sun appears to go down, boom, I stop eating. I'm in tune with the sun, you follow? Like the plants, how do they get their energy? What's that science called, Leon? I know you know your oh, stuff. Synthesis. Photosynthesis, right? So we do the complete opposite. We are photovoltaic, we're phototropic, you follow what I'm saying? So boom, shut down after that time and let the body do its job. Because otherwise you're gonna you're pushing each thing back. You're pushing the you're delaying the melatonin, which you need at nighttime to start repairing your cells. You follow what I'm saying? They come in, repair your DNA, repair your cells, repair your chromosomes, repair your telomeres, which the guy just bought. Telomeres, by the way, is at the end of your chromosomes. You follow what I'm saying? The longer they are, you don't age. The shorter they are, you age real fast, you're getting stressed out. You follow what I'm saying? And age, age itself is an acronym for advanced glycation ending. You know glycation already, right? No, no, no. Glycation is when you get um, a sugar molecule attaches itself covalently to a, a lipid molecule, which is basically a fat molecule okay. without synthesization, without anything to synthesize it. So then you age real quick, and before you know it, you've got free radicals running around, stealing electrons, and you aging. You stressing out, you follow what I'm saying? But if you learn about your body clock, learn about the food, the food that's for your genetic uh, uh, phenotype, things like that, your haplotype, you learn to eat correctly, and you be one with nature. When you're one with nature, you, then you tune into the planet Earth, you're one with the universe. When you're one with the universe, you're one with the uh, multiverse. Yeah, you watch us play tonight. You watch those go, Sergio Aguero, I said it. Yeah, then you're one with the universe. You're one with the universe, you're one with the multiverse. You're one with the multiverse, you're one with the omniverse, you dick. Yeah. You're at peace, man. I, I want to touch on, um, you touched on it earlier still about taking personal responsibility. Yes. I want to touch on victim, the victim um Oh, like the blame mentality. culture? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what do you say about that? What do you say in response to the victim mentality? A lot of times um, when people identify things that's outside of their control as a problem that's stopping them from doing something, yeah, man get called a victim. How, how do you approach issues that are seemingly outside of your control that are causing you problems? It a lot of times it depends on how it's pre, pre anticipated. Like, if you got people arguing about, okay, we're in this position because the white man done this to us in the slavery, then, then we need to know what happened intrinsically with the slavery. You follow what I'm saying? What's the root word of, of slavery? Slavic. Who were the Slavics? Not us. It's the Eastern Europeans. You follow what I'm saying? As I mentioned before, I lived on to somebody else. I went to a country when I was younger called Yugoslavia. Now it's no longer on the map. I went to a country called Czechoslovakia. These two countries are no longer on the map, but these are Slavic regions where Eastern Europeans were your so-called slaves. You follow? And then even then, if we're going to say slavery as in today's tense, that was a kidnapping. 
You follow what I'm saying? That was a kidnapping, so that was against international law and all that, of which we need to be paid for and sold out, because everyone else has got theirs just do. The so-called Jews got theirs, the Japanese got theirs, the Koreans got theirs, we haven't got us. But these things are within our hands if we get the right people in the right places speaking out. You follow what I'm saying? Like, you see every year, South of the, South, sub, South of the Thames River on August the 1st, when we're outside the Iceland store in Brixton, and everyone goes on the march, repatriation march and everything. Yeah. And what I want to see is where is the black society of British attorneys and lawyers on the march? Where's the same thing for the teachers? Where's the bankers on, on these marches? You why feel you what I'm feel saying? Because like they, they should be there. Why these are the. Why, why, why these why are the there? I don't know. There's something there that's not appealing. I'm not going to say not appealing. It's that somehow we, we the people, should be able to bring them in. They should have been there from day dot. As soon as these marches started taking place, these are the key people who should have been there. But that's what I'm talking about earlier when I was saying about um, joining the system to change it. And the system ends up yeah. changing you. It takes those who are skilled who are there to, to get it because the average Leroy, John, Steve from the street ain't going to be the ones to do that. They're not going to be the ones to come and teach us the, the, the finance system like that. You follow what I'm saying? We've got, there's, there's, there's a lot of local Dr. Claude Andersons who are up on their financial game, but it's just getting them out. and making them in the right places but they got everyone playing checkers we should be mastering chess so you know how we feel about um not really trying to get into the politics too much but yeah I hate about politics. the left and the right black conservatives black democrats or um leftists what you feel like i know i know and, and just to cut in all those people there when people say that they're Elected, they're not really elected, they're selected. There's a selection going on. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, but everybody can do that in their, in their area. Everyone can get on the municipal game. Go to these meetings, go to the council meetings. Sometimes I go to meetings, I don't see nobody out here on those meetings. But yet they're making decisions that affect everybody out here. And on these meetings, you have the manager of, of McDoodles, what you call McDonald's. You have the manager of Booker King. Burger King, you have, you have the, uh, the, we say these the chief are the public, superintendent yeah. of the Metropolitan Police from Tottenham. You have, you know what I'm saying, you have the councillors, you have the people in charge of, you know, like the lottery money when it yeah. gets funded to an area. So around there in Harringay Borough, the person in control there is Keith Trotter. So I go to these meetings and I see these people sat there, but what I want to see is more local people get involved in it because these people are making decisions for this area and the people are like, why is all this change happening? Now, change is the only constant, you follow what I'm saying? So there's two sides of the gentrification train. You follow what I'm saying? I don't see it as a, as, a, as a bad negative thing. I'm like, yo, you sat on a certain area for so many years, you've done nothing with it. Other people are going to come in, they're going to change it. But then you've got to make the jump with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Around here, there should be more health stores. But you got Whiskey Mill, it's pure pigeon and chip stores, liquor stores, bookies. It's trash. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all crappy food. The, the food you get out here on the street, people buying this fruit, it's not looked after properly. You got rat urine, all that. It's it's crazy. It's so why crazy. are people buying it though? Uh -huh. why, why people they buy, buy it? it because they're not educated on it, and they don't know they don't know any other. You ask a child out here what's their favorite grape, they're gonna tell you seedless grape. You follow what I'm saying? They don't know about the grapes with seeds in it. They don't know about organic food. You know, we gotta look at these words. That's when we gotta bring etymology into it because organic really means carbon-based foods. So a lot of people have these allergies. They think it's towards the food, but a lot of the time it's the chemicals they're putting on the foods, what they have the allergy to. You follow? Now, if your governments uh, are turning around and they're putting certain chemicals in the, in the ground, when we know it needs 18 micronutrients in the ground, they get away with putting three main ones. Have you heard of MPK potential? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So MPK potential, and we go back to the elements. Nitrogen, shop. phosphorus, potassium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Leon's in the house, yo. I ask people out here, they don't know. The same way when I say, what's the acronym for DNA? Most of them don't know, you follow what I'm saying? So it's good that we need to break down the acronyms and what they actually stand for. So when we get back to the elements, just as you said, you know, the ends, the nitrogen, potassium, and the, um, what did I say? Nitrogen, potassium, what's the other one? Phosphorus. And the, phos and the phosphorus, you follow what I'm saying? So back to the elements, child. Something we should have been taught in elementary school. Elements, get it? But we don't, so you know. So these terminologies and words go over our heads when we start hearing it. Because most people in the hood are only used to two syllable to three syllable words maximum. We start hearing five syllable words, your brain just goes, I ain't dealing with that. I can't deal with that. That word is 
on one game. But that's all they've done is they just sewn the words together, made it long, and we think it's complex. Like you go to the to the courts, the law courts, they got their own language called legalese, as you know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you ain't got your Black's Law Dictionary or the British counterpart Archibalds to deal with that, you ain't gonna know what's going on. So the solicitor who solicits your ass says, shut the F up, let me do the speaking for you. But you should be able to stand in your own circle and square and deal with it yourself. So the same applies with scientific literacy and food literacy. All right, let's, let's, let's talk about um, the politics thing again. See voting. What do you say, would you, would you um, advocate people to vote? In local elections, in local elections I would. In right, so why, why only local? Because they can see the immediate effects locally in their immediate environment and, and you're a product of your local environment and would you, would you say that people can't complain about the system if they don't um, vote if they don't play a part in it yeah so if, they, they, if they if they want to see if they want to see change and how are they going to see change if change is the only constant and they're just moaning in their local vicinity with their bedrooms then so don't, don't you feel like don't you feel like there's no about. way to be politically active without um what's the word i'm looking for I feel like when you vote, when you register to vote and all of them things, it's like you're validating the system. If you believe the system's corrupt, then yeah. isn't there a way of replacing nope. that without draining it? Yeah, total anarchy. <laughs> 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 but you need X amount of law and order, Yeah. as it were. You follow what I'm saying? Otherwise, everyone's going to be rampant. People just be killing each other. You but need that's what some, I'm saying, don't, you don't, know. You feel, don't you feel like man can, yeah, I, don't you feel like man can um, make man's own governing system yeah i'm, amongst, I'm amongst down with your, it your, your group yeah. in, in reality circle and make it spread that way rather than joining something where you think is corrupt and trying man, to change that, it. that would be a beautiful utopia man i'm down with all that you know what i'm saying but <laughs> is it happening anytime soon yeah. we sh i mean people should be able to govern themselves you follow what i'm saying because in short like would you agree with um what's the word meritocracy would you agree with meritocracy, meritocracy? Cause that's that's in the short. Like, I'm kind of saying that if we mind, yeah, yeah. if we mind, do yeah. it, then that's that's meritocracy right there. If if you know the people who's bringing it forth, and you follow what I'm saying, the people you can relate to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The average person out here can't relate to Theresa May, Boris Johnson. You see what I'm saying? John Major. No matter if he came from Brixton or whatever. But you know, around here we got the local MP, Lammy. Most of the time, he just walks right past if he's in this area. So a lot of people don't relate with him. But I tell people, if you got a beef or an argument, go to his office, man. Take it to him. Take it to, to their table. Mm -hmm. Not in an angry way, like, take it to them. You know what I'm saying? But that's bring a problem about, as well. Enough people about really the change. can't, they, or they might not feel confident that they can articulate where is their emotionally feeling, you get me? Then they got to get together with someone who can articulate on their behalf. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. They express it a certain way, and someone says, okay, yeah, I know what you're saying, boom. Not to the point where they contort everything you're saying, still deliver that message so that the, the MP or the politician overstands that because he's there serving the constituent. And you're the people, you are the constituent. And they should be able to serve you like properly. You should be able to bring these issues to them. Don't let it just go over, you follow what I'm saying? Mm. And if they can't, then you'll end up just going down parliament yourself and you know, demonstrating outside or, or whatever. Do like Hong Kong. You know what I'm saying? Right, cool. Do like Hong Kong, do like the yellow vest in Paris. You yeah, follow what I'm yeah. saying? Over here, people used to do that in London town. The last time I seen people unify and do that was the poll tax rise. And I wasn't here, I, was, I wasn't in the country at the time, I was in New York. But the poll tax rise, I saw that. Now I'm not advocating go rioting, but I'm saying the way the people got together, it was yeah. a collective. Of late, I'm seeing the, the collective issue just go away. It used to be, everyone used to be so unified. A community meant common unity. You follow what I'm saying? But people are just out for themselves right now. The, the individualism is, is, is kind of crept in and people don't care about the next man. It's like, oh, tread on him and tread over. Instead of reaching back, you know, each one teach one is, is reach one as well. Be able to reach that one. You follow what I'm saying? So it needs more of that. And, and it's this next generation. They're the ones to bring it through. Like Solomon, when he was younger, used to be a part of something called the youth parliament. Yeah. And I raided that. You follow what I'm saying? So, but these politicians need to hear what the youth are saying. It's all good us, I'm 52 years old, you know what I'm saying? I've, I'm like, we gotta pass the baton on to 15 year olds. I love it when 15 year olds come here and educate me on things. Mm -hmm. And they tell me they're not learning about this in schools. The sisters ain't learning about endometriosis in, in school until they come here to my table and I tell them. I'm like, well, you should demand these things from your teachers. By the way, when you go to your teacher, learn about him, you like, boom. They should be demanding these things in their education, not waiting for one month a year and call that black history, no. This thing is like every day. I want to talk. I want to talk a little bit about um, Black Cause, Wall Street because everybody's been lied to. 
everybody. You know, the average European child has been lied to about us. Yeah. We've been lied to. People from the Caribbean have been pitched against people from continental Africa and vice versa. We've yeah, yeah, all yeah. been lied to the world around. Go ahead, you said you want to talk about... Yeah, um, Black Wall Street and the philosophy behind it. It's kind of ties into what I was saying about um, yeah. joining the system to change it. Because that yeah. time there, um, man weren't allowed to join in the system. I don't know. So they formed their own? They formed their own <laughs> thing. See, like, when you when you're excluded, it's like, like when, when, when you know that you're not welcome in the next man's house. Yeah, you break away. You don't, you don't even, you ain't got that luxury to wait and consider whether a man's going to look after me or not. So you just have to start doing your own yeah, thing. Yeah, you got to do for self. Yeah. But that's what I love about Black Wall Street, because you got to look at the, the demographic of the time, 1920s, um, prohibition and all that things was going on. But to pour that money into the in, into one vicinity and not let that dollar leave the area for seven months was a beautiful thing. So when you look at the word currency and uh, applying the etymology again, you're passing a current, you're passing a charge. And we're known to pass that, that charge, that feeling. I spent money with you, you felt good. You spent it with the next person of color, they feel good. They spent money with the person, they feel good. We in 2019. Back then, seven what, what months. I'm, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that, do you feel that man can develop that mentality without being excluded from other systems? I would say yes. I would say people can. Not, not on a delegation tip, like, when you, cause, like, you can compartmentalize any, anything, like, ask me the question again, because I lost my child of thought. You, you feel like man can um, achieve that mentality of doing for self and doing it effectively? and thinking of self-reliance within your own community without being excluded. Because, like I said, it came about because man was excluded. Man weren't allowed to drain the other system. Man was, man was yeah. blatantly being discriminated against and not looked after in it. So man was forced to do for self. And that's when man started to develop to a level where, like it was, the neighboring um, areas was envious to they yeah. come and bomb up the place yeah, again. Yeah, and then attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That, it was, we reached that level of success yeah. independently. But I'm saying, do you feel like without having that, um, um, that initial reason of being excluded from somebody else's system, what they built for themselves, do you feel like man can develop the mentality and the drive to build it for ourselves? I think, I think the answer to that is a definite yes. I think yes. But it all starts with knowledge yourself and kind first. That knowledge yourself and then you branch, and then you branch, out, you branch out from that. But, you know, as people start making those progressive moves, other things join on to that. You follow what I'm saying? You're, like, you're working from that nucleus, I make a move. People see that, they're like, okay, I can add this to your game, bam. Well, not game, but you know, I can add this and I can benefit. Then we can cut the cost. We can cut the cost on importation or exportation. So either way, we're all still gonna join up. We've all got the same aim and we start progressing from that. That's what Black Wall Street was doing. You know, the airfield, all using the same po uh, post marriage general and things like that. Like. Like on West Green Road, right? All the African stores up there and the Caribbean stores up there, the, the grocery stores, they all shop for one, the, the same place in particular. So their avocados, they all shop together and they send off for a big crate of it from uh, Uganda. They, they, they pull their resources and buy it together. Yeah, so it all comes from Uganda. The same, okay. the same delivery, boom. Um, I'm saying, do they the same buy it together? The young they all buy it from the same place, but do they all purchase together? They'll pitch in, a lot of them are pitching and buy okay. it together. So it cut a lot of cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Now, if we learn to do that, we good. We, we goose out here. We good money. You follow what I'm saying? They do that with the avocados. They do that with the, you know, the fig bubble bananas. Yeah, yeah, they do yeah. the same thing like that. You follow what I'm saying? So, so did we can turn fake, around. The, did you say the fake bubble bananas or the fig? No, the real fig, okay, the real yeah, fig yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. bubble bananas. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. when we try to educate the children out here, we tell them that the fake bananas, obviously those big ones you're buying for a pound, yeah, yeah, yeah. the Cavendish bananas, of which scientists just admitted two weeks ago, most of them are going to be wiped out because they're diseased then anyway. But they're hybrid anyway. They're gonna give you more starch and mucus than milk and milk put together. Okay. You follow what I'm saying? They're not real, so you're not gonna get the real tyrosine, which you need as a, one of the precursors for your melanin. So that's gonna affect you mentally also. Yeah. I used to. And that's a whole another topic because a lot of people are eating things that disrupt their melanin production. That's a big, big thing, big correlation. You follow what I'm saying? All right, talk, talk to me about some of the, um, the books you got out here, man. Okay. Here. Give, me, give me a little breakdown of some of the books where you're selling out here. Right, let me replace the tyrosine book. What the guy got? He's got Henrietta Lacks. 
and heal her cells. This is the woman, the one who they stole her stem cells from without her permission. She had cervical cancer. This is back in 1951, John Hoskins Hospital in Baltimore, USA. Without her permission, they took her stem cells. What was unique about her stem cells is that they were the only cells that started replicating in culture, and culture means outside the human body. So they kept on replicating at will. Her cells are used in every single hospital on this planet right now. Right and now. used for major right now still. They're still replicating to this day. So that's what makes them immortal. Hence the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. So how, how did they discover that she was that special? Because when they looked at her genes and they saw that it wasn't dying, like not just basic uh, say, mitosis. Why was they even looking at her genes in the first place? No, because they had to study her because she had cervical cancer. Okay. So when they were trying to find out ways why she wasn't responding to certain um, things, certain drugs and things of that nature. They found out it was unique. They started sending these things off and everyone just got in on the act. You know what I'm saying? And they've been using themselves ever since. You say she's the only one? No, she's not the only one. There's, there's many. Yeah. But a lot of people feel comfortable by going and getting your blood samples and things like that. And most of the time they're taking your blood and duping it. Mm -hmm. Without your knowledge. You follow what I'm saying? So we need a lot more people in, 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 in the medical field also. You know, and lately I've been speaking to a lot of young people who are getting into that, which is great. Because beforehand we just thought that's something too complex and we can't really get into it, but we can. You know, there's, there's people amongst us who can get into those things. And if we, if we can't get into it, we know someone who is into those things. I know a plethora of people who are into that. You know what I'm saying? So I can just phone up a homie, boom, he's into that, boom. You know, we've got endocrinologists, got all those people are into that. So there's no problem getting the information, it's just getting it here and then getting it to the people and then getting it to the people in a way where it's not complex or deep. Because you know when people say, oh, that's deep. Yeah. It's not that it's deep, it's just that we're not used to the terminologies. You know, when I was at school, they didn't make science interesting to people like me. You follow what I'm saying? It's only when I left school, got into certain organizations, and then I picked it up, then it became attractive. When I started bumping to people like um, the late, great Dr. Delbert Blair, you know what I'm saying? He started coming out with metaphysics. That, then I was getting it, I was like, okay, yeah, I can relate to that. You know, because I was a sci-fi freak when I was growing up. I still love yeah, my yeah, sci-fi yeah. now. So I was getting taught that way. And then through the music, I would hear it. You follow what I'm saying? Back in like 1982 by people like Gary Bird with a crown. So the, the music, there was all different ways of hearing the message. Mm -hmm. You know, even the message, the track, the message. So there's different ways. But now, you know, it's all changed. We've got to find a way of making the, the, the youth hear it because their attention span is different to a lot of our generation. It's way different. If I come to them with a straight science, they ain't hearing it. Unless I get them an analog where they can see it out here, you know? They, they ain't gonna hear it. All you right. tell them to put down that, that hamburger, they're like, what's gonna replace it? You know, they wanna know what exactly and where they can get these things, and that's where we come in and show them where they can get it. Put down that soda, get your coconut water. You follow? That's Which I need right now. Directly from the coconut, get my five electrolytes. How much for the coconut though? This one a pound, and then I get them bigger as well, two pound. Mm -hmm. I get the big young Thai coconuts, cut that bad boy open, add some chlorella to it, and you end up with your greens. Did you have your greens today? You follow? Um, I more prefer the chlorella for the chlorophyll than, um, than the other one, the spirulina, because spirulina is more or less at the bottom of the ocean. It doesn't go through the full phase of photosynthesization, so chlorella is a better look, much better for it. And then obviously, you know, the, the coconut meat. Yeah. You get your MCFAs, medium chain fatty acids, which are very good for you. You can get the green coconuts as well on West Greenwald right here. You know what I'm saying? They'll cut the husk off. And with the young coconuts, the husk is more or less cut off already. So I have those every day, All right. you know? And then if you're drinking water, try and drink from a glass vessel, and not the plastic, since so the plastic leaches off. And canned stuff, you need to stay away from the canned stuff. In most warehouses where the cans are loaded up, you got rat urine, pee, pee you know, mice urine on it. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot we got to learn about the food things and what's real and what's not. Let's, let's go on to the books then. What's the next one? Along the uh, this one is the telomere effect. So a lot of people didn't know about telomeres, so they got to the third chapter of Henry of Lags book. Now telomeres is at the end of your That's chromosomes. the third chapter of that book? Yeah, within the third chapter of this, yeah. it starts talking about telomeres. Okay. So this opens people, this is why I love this book so much, because it starts opening up people. And if they didn't know about things like, say like the Nuremberg um, trial, yeah, yeah, most yeah. people think that was just like, you know, the Nazis and doing certain things, you know, it's about health as well. You know what I'm saying? There's a big part of it that, that is about us. Mm -hmm. Then it opens doors about different trials, like the Berlin Conference. So it opens doors for that, where if people didn't naturally know these things, it would, it would make them research these words. When you hear these words, you want to go and research them. And that's a great learning thing. You start expanding the brain, you follow what I'm saying? So, you know, always walk with a notepad and pen, as I say. 
And as digital age, people are, are shying away from tangible books. There's nothing like tangible books. That's why I love what me and Solomon from Black Child's Motion is always doing. We promote tangible books, tangible pages. There's nothing like the smell of a book. You know what I'm saying? You can have digital as well because I understand that a lot of our people uh, are not expert. Well, you know, some people went through schooling system, didn't end up reading or whatever. So then we cater for that. We have DVDs, you have CDs, you have things for that. But tangible books is where it's at, always. You follow oh, what I'm yes. saying? It's, it's, it's just a great look. So tell books. me about the book. What's, what's, what's actually in the book? What's that about? So this one here, the telomeres, telomeres are the end of the chromosomes. And what scientists are doing is they're spending two, they're spending trillions and trillions of dollars with two topics in particular. The first one is melanin, and the second is telomere, because everyone wants to remain young, right? Ain't nobody yeah. want to die young. Everyone, you know, people, people wanna, don't want to age fast. And as I said before, age itself is an acronym for advanced glycation ending. That's why we got to get the terminologies correct. So people are trying to stay younger. So Telomeres is a very good book for that and explains that and the certain things that's going on, the certain advancements. You follow? Because science at the end of the day is seeking. So I'm not against all science because science is science. You know, science is the whole show and prove game. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of we things see, we that, see. there's a lot of things that come about via science that, um, enhance the human experience i'm for that side of it yeah. i'm not for the manipulation of it though where it's used negatively negative negative yeah what do you mean, what you mean? In what sense? Wait, negatively destructively, yeah like destructively right right like just say like um who's the austrian like nikola tesla nikola tesla was talking about free energy from day dot right back in the yeah. day nikola tesla what did the the u.s navy do they used it for for detrimental things you follow what i'm saying yeah, for yeah, bombs yeah. and things like that Right now, we all should be tapping into the planet's grid to get that energy because it's there. Uh, a lot of times, but we're, but a lot we're not talking about Birkin currents, um, Taurus donuts, um, Schumann currencies. These are the things we should be talking about. So yeah. I, heard, I heard a lot of times that um, patterns are bought just so they can be shelved. Yeah, you, you heard about that before? Yeah, definitely, man. And you saw what it was like, well, you know of the knowledge, what it was like back in the day. Me and you would go and invent something. But because, you know, true, 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 we're on the plantation, yeah, he takes all the, all the plaudits, you follow what I'm saying? Like, nah, man. Heard about that still. We got, we got to get back to that. But they don't tell you about, you know, a little 13-year-old in, in some village in Nigeria who invents something. They try to hush that down. That's, that's what I like. That's the one side of social media I do like. We're when them things about, come about. about the, um, when you made the windmill. And yeah, just things like that in general. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're not going to hear about that little child on Panorama. You're not going to hear about that little child on on you know, world in action and those programs there. Unless we re scraps, unless we we retweet it. Exactly. Red, red books in library and put it and made a and bike and things. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Learning right. about the resources under their own feet and utilizing it for its maximum gain to help people on the planet. You know, like, we you don't said, hear those said, success said, stories. About the, um, the science, like you rate the science when it's used for good and everything. Of course, um, because if you know if if I mean look at the latest one that, um, last that. week. You, you see about the guy uh, who's like blind in his eye? And they no, took the no. stem cell, they took the stem cell from his good eye, yeah. injected it in his right eye, he's in. and, it, and he's got to restore the sight. To a good sight. Come Matching. on, don't we want Stephen Wonder to see again? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're sending man to the moon, allegedly, and you can't make a blind man see. We're in that damn time where we got to help people, help people live their, their best life. But if you're using it negatively, like mm -hmm. bombs and things like that, no, that's negative, that's destruction. Do we, do we, that's do we crazy. I asked you, ask you to ask this, um, what do you feel about pseudoscience? Because a lot of the time, even probably a lot of the, no, I want to say a lot, some of the books that you might be yeah. got on it, man, say it's a pseudoscience. Yeah, they will, they will say it, but I haven't gone crazy today. I've been nice today. You follow what I'm saying? I haven't gone like way out there for someone to say that's pseudo. You yeah. follow what I'm saying? I haven't come with the extraterrestrial stuff, okay. which people tell me and say, oh, you're definitely pseudo. Oh, we came from other planets. People say, you're definitely pseudo. We come from a star constellation with its three suns. You're definitely pseudo. But yet, yeah, Dogans, you can't say Dogans are pseudo. When Dogans was charting his maps and his galaxies before a European came with a telescope, you follow what I'm saying? So when people say pseudo, it's just that they, they haven't got to that level yet of vibration, or they've never got to that level of overstanding yet. You follow what I'm saying? So pseudo, most when most people use it, they use it out of context anyway. You know, just because I'm not following the rest, boom, I'll be labelled as a pseudo if I start mentioning, you know, this. Uh, but I haven't said anything real crazy. I feel like so the man that we say, where say pseudo, pseudo the most is man like um, um Garfield and and brother Unc, them and there. Yeah. Uh, but more time, them man are saying like, rah. When 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 they try to logically break down the arguments that people are presenting, yeah. 
like they don't, like it falls apart in it under scrutiny. Yeah. Man start moving all yeah, shaking. People always try and yeah, yeah, bring it apart and then they'll label that as pseudo. Yeah. But how many of them have done their research though? You follow what I'm saying? It's like like one of my favorite teachers is a guy called T. Owens Moore. Yeah? Timothy Owens Moore. And he's got this book right here. T. Owens Moore. Now this is one of my favorite books on the topic of melanin. Alright? And with science, melanin. What's to say? What's to say? The science and myth of melanin. Yeah, the science and the myth of melanin. Yeah, because when we start getting to melanin, then you get a lot of people label things pseudo. You know, pseudos when you run around saying, you know, white people don't have melanin. Black people are the only people on the planet with melanin and they got the protection. Man, I'm saying, man, I'm saying, I, 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 saying, I, I, man, I'm saying a lot of the health advice as well is pseudo. What are you saying to that? Exactly. A lot of them, a lot of them will say that. But, but as you said, if we start getting into it intrinsically and start breaking it apart, then we can see that it's not pseudo, it's actually fact. And then it comes in, then genotype and those things do come into it. As I said, white potato. White potato will ruin me, but wouldn't ruin, you know, a friend of mine who happens to be European. Because he has more sulfur in his system, I have more selenium. You follow what I'm saying? Not to mention the fact that as a person of color, I'm only 8 to 15% starch tolerant. You follow what I'm saying? So I can't take that much starch. Boom. You know, they are pre diagnosing people with diabetes. Pre diagnosing people with diabetes. How do they do that? That should be, la that should be classed as pseudo, right? Where they're giving pills and tablets and vaccinations and all that, but then they don't know nothing about the, the food makeup of that person or his haplotype or what he's normally used to. You follow what I'm saying? But yeah, the same way you sound like Unk and all those people there, big shout out to Sarnetto, obviously, um, and House of Consciousness, because that's where most people heard the, the term pseudo back in the day when the, when the battles was going on, you know, like the evolution conference and things like that. But if you get someone who's, who knows their stuff inside out, you find out they're not, they're not pseudo. You know, someone who's done their due diligence on it. But people just going from the trap, going from the mouth, you may label them a pseudo until you get used to that style of teaching. You follow what I'm saying? A lot of those people come from the same backgrounds I had. Uncle and all that, they was Nuwapians. They used to see them on the land in Tamaray, down in Georgia. But everyone's just forked out and everyone's got different things. And a lot of people get caught up in their feelings. Like some people will be of this camp or they only like this teacher. Yeah. I'm down for anyone who, who, who makes common sense common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Like my yeah. brother's um, Kamani Tate, KTDR's degree. You follow what I'm saying? Minister Inky. These people, they know their stuff. They teach it excellently. You can go through it with a fine tooth and find out they're telling you the facts. Get the books. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. certain I'm people have, have their favorites or whatever. Debate, but I do if, uh huh? I'm going to have to bring my out here to come debate, man, still. <laughs> I let you see, see. I let you Yeah, I, I kind of I kinda stop the debates because we need to kind of go a bit more forward. I'm not saying I'm, I'm shirking from the debates, but I'd rather build, you know what I'm saying? I like to. I feel, I feel to, that's a form of building. That's yeah, like, that's, it is, that's it is a form of building. Man, man, man are constantly trying to disprove themselves yeah. to see um, how strong their arguments are. Yeah, I hear it, that. I feel like still sharp and still in it. I hear that. If you because think, if you think it's the truth, and uh, ain't gonna front a lot of the time, not even a lot of the time, it's possible that somebody can um, make something that's true look like it's not true. So yeah, we have to be yeah. wary of that as well. Yeah, that's true, but, that's true, that's true. But um, the more, I believe, the more man, um, Try to pick apart your own argument. The more you, the, the, the more Not firm defend you're, it, you're become, gonna, the yeah, more you're gonna get more information in to back if, that if, up. If 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 it's um if if, you're, if it's able to stand up to your own criticism, as long as you're yeah. far with it, you get me? Yeah. I feel it's yeah. a good thing still. Debating yeah. is a good thing still. Yeah. No, it is. It is. It is. But I, as, the as, thing long is, as long as man are doing it for genuine reasons, like yeah. man ain't just out here trying to shame man. Yeah. The man's really trying to see if you're trying to show off. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Because she's doing it for gain, man. Because. As I said, I used to do a lot of it. Okay. Uh, too much of it, as a matter of fact. I used to do it like every week, do the classes. You know, I'd be on the radio for six hours, leave a class, and then go and do a six hour lecture. Okay. So I've, I've done all that back in the day. What everyone's doing now at the park, we was doing 25 years ago. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's when yeah. Ishmael and all them people was, was down at the park. So yeah. being for all that, you know what I'm saying? But I still watch it of interest, because as I said, you got to pass the baton on, the next generation pick up, and I'm watching of a young, I want to see like more youngsters come through to the forefront, more women, you know, take the forefront mm -hmm. and all of that. But yeah, I mean, you know, I love the debates as long as they're constructive and we're going forward and everyone's learning, but not bashing each other down and all that, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. then we're missing, we're missing the whole trick at hand. Right. So, you know, come, but yeah, come, the books, come, come this guy here is a guy called Ernest Everett Just, I think he was born in 1883 you say, you say or something. You got this top, row, this top shelf up here, these are your um, favorite selections or something? Is that some, up there? A, a lot of the books are missing, 
and that's good. That attests to the sound. So a I'm lot of a lot the ones of that I understand. Oh, the ones in the stand. That's Any like more to bring. Why they're up there? Yeah, to bring to bring all walks and people in because they're okay. they're very eye catching. Okay. You follow what I'm saying? So this guy here, the you know the black Apollo. So, 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 so point to some of the ones that are your most. Um, where you, where you feel is the most beneficial? Um, okay, I would say things like vaccines are dangerous. Vaccines yeah? are dangerous. Vaccines are dangerous by Curtis Cuss. So he done a beautiful you're, interview you're, last week on Sign of the Team. Vaccines, so, yeah. so I'm in a studio. I'm against vaccines. What's well, I don't, I don't, I don't champion vaccines. When I was growing up, my mom's, she was against needles and I'm glad for that so I hated needles I had a thing about needles anyway so I didn't get what a lot of people got you know like um what's that thing where they got on their um chicken for the holes no the BCGs and all oh, them, yeah, yeah, them. Yeah. I didn't get none of them you know what I'm saying I always had an alternative there was always an alternative I got the alternative there was like some kind of sugar cube we got as an alternative to those things there as, like the polo job as well I got the alternative but um so what do you, what do you feel when, the, they're, um, when they're is, when is they're when they're diagnosing a lot of these children with ads and whatnot yeah. a lot of the times it's down to the vaccination okay. it's like if like when they say get the flu jab inside the flu jab is influenza so yeah. they're giving you the flu what's that about like in, no but the purpose, what, well, the, purpose, the purpose is to give it to you in a small dose so your yeah. body can develop to um, build up to it antibodies to attack it but, so, so but your natural but your natural antibodies would have came from your breast from your breast milk when you was a child you know what I'm saying? But when you have women give birth and then they stop breastfeeding after four months because they're scared their breasts is getting all saggy, we got to educate them on that. You follow what I'm saying? Because they'll get the maximum benefits from zero up to three years old, still getting that breast milk, their immune system be so what, nice. So, so we're saying, ah, uh, okay. That over but, but, vaccinations. But some vaccinations saying, but people not, need. If it's life or death, you got to get it. Breastfed and even some of us who are breastfed, still what, catching what, what, what things. What their mothers are um, eating. Yeah. might not necessarily be the best type of food to eat like you said the pigeon and chips and all them things they might be yeah. eating a bag of that so if they're getting breast if they're breastfeeding their children what benefit are they going to get in terms of immunity so if, if, the, mother, if the mother was eating correctly beforehand then you get the nice the breast milk yeah you wouldn't need the vaccination because then they're getting all those nutrients so it does go back to the birth it goes back to the placenta it goes back to not chopping off the placenta as soon as you're born it goes to all of that because really the placenta will come off on its own whether it's two hours or three or, or three days, it will come off on its own, then you know the baby's good to go. You know what I'm saying? But you're fighting the doctors to keep the placenta. And then we gotta look at the, the birthing nature. We're giving birth under halogen lights in the hospitals where there's no hospitality. At three in the afternoon, like it's a soccer day game kickoff. What's that about? You know what I'm saying? We should go up to giving birth under the shadow hours under the stars and all that. So we're denatured from the get-go, so we're, we're at a loss. That's where the knowledge comes in when we learn to do things correctly. Eat correctly, eat on time, and do all things correctly with nature. Be in accordance with nature, and we ain't gonna worry about these things. We ain't gonna worry about the vaccination, we ain't gonna worry about the. You follow what I'm saying? Educate our own. As Malcolm said, why do we keep selling the children to the, to the killing fields? You follow? But if, if, if it's life and death, you gotta take that needle, you gotta take that vaccination. So I'm not totally against it. I'm more for people learning what's actually in it instead of just saying, all right, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. out, yeah, get that needle. Still. You follow what I'm saying? People we gotta, should, people what's should in know. It? People should know what, what's yeah, in what's the effect on the mercury? What's the mercury's effect on the pineal gland? What's the pineal gland effect on what's all those poisons effect on the endocrine system? Because when you hear people talk around and say like, you know, such and such a pineal gland is, is calcified. That when people speak like that, that can be classed as pseudo if they're not breaking it down. Because the pineal gland is obviously part of a bigger gland system, namely the endocrine system. So there's an attack on the endocrine system. So then all your organs are affected. You follow what I'm saying? So then you've got to learn the whole thing. That's what I like about books like Dr. Lady Africa. He has the big books, do your organs and the, and, uh, the meridians. And but you see, see his discussion up. with Dame Dash He's and, and, and the um, scientist brother. I saw, what I do saw that. that. What do you think that. about that? See, I also where Damon was coming from because it kind of reminds me of, of, of the dear brother Fife. Remember from Trico Twist, right? Yeah. You know, the funky diabetic. If, if, if they was more educated on that side of it, they would learn more of it. So he doesn't, if he took some t more time out to learn what Dr. Leila Africa was about, it kind of an awesome show. Because so far I think Leila Africa has been on his show twice, right? Is it twice? I don't know. I seen one of them when he was, when he, when he was with a Because I only saw one for the first time this week. It was, it was with a doctor sitting down and then that's the, was asking the doctor. The European doctor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I saw that. They that that, that, that one, I saw but that. Front. To me, he, he seemed reluctant, reluctant to answer the questions. Yeah. Who? Leila did? Yeah, 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 yeah. he was kind of put in a position. I saw that. But imagine if he was on like the Rock Newman show, he'd more he'd feel more freer. You know what I'm saying? It's like another one of my teachers, Sabi, Sabi didn't Sabi didn't care. Sabi yeah. would just drop it like it's hot, because it was hot. 
And Saber didn't care if he was European, Chinese, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He just, he just so he said come true, with true, it. True, 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 was on Dame Dash, so he didn't feel like spilling out the thing. No, Damon's good for spilling it out, but I'm saying Damon himself, I'm not saying he, 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 I like he wasn't educated. Post, so yeah, I like Damon. Going. His thing is, if, it, if it's the truth, it's the truth, it'll run with exactly. it and promote it. No matter but, what. Well, from my understanding, I don't know what's in his mind. Who knows? Maybe he's, maybe yeah. he's like, from, from my impression, he seems like a cool brother, like a good you, you get me, sir? Yeah. I'll say if it's the truth, it's the truth, it'll make man promote that, you get me? Like, if he shows so, that man's saying something that ain't true, then... He's going to ask man to explain yeah, himself. Yeah, he's got a man really he's got like the right to explain himself, though. He looks shaky still. I, ain't got, I got his book, you know. I got to I gotta watch that interview again yeah, because you? I kind of felt the same way you did when I first watched it. You yeah, feel yeah. what I'm saying? I was, I was a bit so, disheartened still. I was a bit disheartened still. Right, it, it could seem I disheartening. To, I wanted him to win, you get me? Maybe, but but then on another interview, you see him and he does bust it. He does yeah. come with it. But I mean, because Layla, Layla it's, it's, comes over here a lot. But his man asking the same odd questions what my man was asking, though. That's what I'm saying. A lot, like time, a, lot of, a lot of the times, a lot of the times, environment is. I want to know yeah. is man answering the, the the critical questions. You get me? Yeah, and a lot of times it, it could be the way the person asked the question as well. Could be. But then again, he shouldn't feel tripped or trapped. He should, yeah. as you said, from, he from should be able to. The truth. Right. Then you should be able yeah. to just deal with it. Not enough. Not even the point of defending it. Just drop it like it's hot because it's hot. Straight. You follow Straight. what I'm saying? So you know, yeah. and and that's where you get into things like critical analysis, and that's what I like. As I was saying before. That's what I like about Tyrion's more, yeah. The way he he would deal with someone else's doctrine, the way he applies his his whole research methodology, I love it. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So in this book, he would critique Doctor First Class as well, soon, right? Okay. So in a way where you can't get caught up in your feelings, we all love the sister. You follow I what I'm saying? That. Yeah. But what he would do is point out that for all the games she came with, which is excellent game, I imagine if she had biology under her belt. Yeah. She'd be like 20 fold even more than what she was. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. And then and then a next a next cat, he would go on. He'd be like, we all love Shaq and Tadia, right? We all yeah. love his books, we all love his literature, man ahead of his time. He will critique him in a constructive way and say, okay, anthropology is greater than that. Imagine if Shaq knew what we know knew now about biology. Would have cleaned up. He done the same thing with Richard King. Yeah? Who's one of the first people to met in the books as well? Richard King, Francis Cress, and Carol Barnes. They were the three prominent ones I knew when I was growing up and what I learned about in the beginning of the 90s. So he done the same thing Richard King, but what I like about Richard King is that Richard King didn't get caught up and out of his emotions or anything. What Richard King ended up doing, doing was getting together with Terrence Moore and they done a book, Dark Matter, which I've got on my shelf. I haven't got it out here, I sold out. It was a great book. So, the collabs is great when people do that. They sit down on the table and bring the differences. Boom. What I don't like is when people purposely pitch one teacher against another. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, people yeah. come out here and they say, yeah, but say he was against this, but Leila Africa done it, and they're trying to pitch the two together. I'm like, I see where you're going, but I'm not co-signing that. Yeah. You follow? I'm want to see my I'll be like, you take what you want from Leila, and if it's good for you, apply it. You take yeah. what you want from Sabi, and if it's good for you, apply it. You take what you want from me for the sake of beefing, but at the same time, um, I don't want the perception that that's what man might be doing to stop man from putting Advancing. ideas yeah. up against different ideas to see what's yeah. the best idea, you get me? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying still. I, yeah, but, I hear what you're saying. But, um, I like man, that. Man, man, I've for a minute still, because my man's got a cut, so I wanted to just quickly um, okay. catch my man doing his 52 yeah, blocks. Yeah, I'm going to turn the lights on as well. Yeah, it's I've got crazy. lights, you know, fam. Yeah, tell him to bust his lights on, man. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, another day, another still. discussion, you know, but at least you're familiar with the area now, so don't be shy about coming up I'm time. I'm a forward again, man. I'm a forward again. <laughs> it's far from me, though, still. I'm in southeast, you get me? No diggity, man. It's yeah. all great for y'all. I'm a forward again, though, still. I like, I like the you. information when you're giving out, you get me? Yeah. I like yeah. it. You're open with it, you get me? You're willing to discuss. Still, I'm happy so. when the whole table's full of books you can't, because I get books that a lot of people don't get here as well, so I bring books over, like, like you know, people like Melissa Inky and that. A lot of people like these teachings, but some of the books you can't get in this country, unless I bring it over here. You know, I got one in the bag, I'll show you, like... Enki, I'm plugging you right now. <laughs> the boy from the Bronx is being plugged. And whoever it is, you know. What do you feel about their My products as well? He's got good have, have, have you used any of their products that they sell online, Minister Inky? Um, I've seen KT's products. Okay. My brother come on take. Because when he came over here... He brought some with him. Yeah, he has some good products. Which I will co-sign. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. Remember, a lot of people jump on the on the Sabi bandwagon and say, right, get this, this. You, you see, like a lot of things, and it will say, right, 
this is the same way of doing it. A lot of them even met the guy, you know what I'm saying? I met, yeah. I met the dude, so, you know, but I'm not on that clout chasing thing. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? I'm like, you are your own man, you're on your own man. I don't agree with every single thing a certain teacher done. You follow what I'm saying? Um, but I do class these as, as my teachers. Sabi, he likes to smoke trees. I hate trees. When I was young, I used to smoke trees, but now ask him. I, I tell them all the time, give that shit up. Give that shit up, give it up. I tell people, give it up, because I'm telling them what it's doing. I'm trying to, trying to tell people about the endocannabinoids that's in them. But why are they relying on the endogenous cannabinoids, how you're really telling your neurotransmitters to forget about the natural and go with the synthetic? And how that's going to affect your body later on? So what about drinking it? What about drinking it in tea? You're, you're, yeah, that, yeah, that I'm more for that. Okay. Or, go, that, to, that or go to Rotterdam or Amsterdam and put it in a space cake. But yeah, drinking it in a tea is that beneficial is, for Mando? Is much more beneficial. Mix it if you're comfy or whatever, you know, your dandelion, whatever. You follow yeah. what I'm saying? Your natural, your natural herbs, make a tea of it. Make a tincture out of it. So I agree, and that's, that's, that's like what we said earlier on. I agree with the positive side of those things. Look at that, that, that poor woman from over here, I think she was from Merseyside or somewhere, took her child out the country, tried to bring her back in with the, um, with the oil version, the CBD version, yeah, and the yeah, government yeah. put us up to I'm not for that. I'm like, let the child have it. Because the child will be okay in Holland, which is just over the, over the waters, you follow what I'm saying? So those things, that's going to help people. For medicinal purposes, I'm down with that. But I'm not down with Leroy saying, right, I'm smoking this for medicinal purposes. Just get it blunted on the block. Now, that's not really progressive, you follow what I'm saying? So, you know, right, you, like give, that, give, give me one, all right, cool. All right, yeah, yeah, let's wrap this up so we can get my man in there still, man. Matt, Matt continue oh. on after those two. How long are you out here for? This is, this, this is what I was showing you. That's just one. And that's a 200 buck book. Ain't can plug you, my brother. Keep that still. Keep eat that right still. for your, eat right for your half a little time. You know. Okay. The book. Um, some other books. You got things like on the dietary tip. These two books on their own will put you right on a dietary tip. Who's this? Will put you right. Yeah. By Who's Akil this? Akil Anis. Akil. Yeah on the alkaline diet and things like that, you know? So I'm not pushing the whole alkaline thing or the whole vegan thing down people's throats. Because when people say I'm a vegan, I say I'm plant-based. A cracker can be a vegan. You know, you saying you're vegan this, vegan that, you go in someone's crib and the refrigerator they got soya beans, which is detrimental to the human body. So, you know, soya milk and things like that. So, you know, I tell people, learn to make your own milk. You know, I, I'd say get coconut. Warner. Warner is, is, is light on the constitution or coconut milk. You follow what I'm saying? Learn, sit down with each other and make that, you know? If you want lemonade, bust a, a young coconut, squeeze a key lime in there, you got something much beautiful than lemonade, but you got it naturally. So I don't always go the natural way still. more than anything. What about what? Oh, no, 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 my man's ready to cut still. I need to film my man still. Okay, man. Yo, 07930-262-124, Brooklyn Keck Nubar, the home tree stem. Come holler at your boy anytime, yo. All right, cool, brother. I respect for doing the thing, man. Right. Don't know if I respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need to do like a colour and just come through a different day. Remember I mean every single day? Every day you're here, yeah? Every day. Saturday, Sunday? Alright. Yeah, every day. Say nothing. Say nothing. Most definitely. Okay. I say nothing, yeah. Come and do the thing. You want to say? Come to go away every time. From your own belly. Come. Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. As black people, we've never been listen. listened to. C-O-E. Ever. For some reason, we've got some stigma. We've never caused no wars. Brought no weapons. Enslaved in the body. For some reason, we're, we're the worst of the planet. Right.